guys um we've got this board coming and this is no power when we plug into the charger uh, i've just taken it out i'm going to inspect it under the microscope we're just gonna plug the charger in so when we plug this in let's see if we get a light on it or not we've got no light on it um, just going to do a small test I'm gonna try to show you the meter and um, so let's have a look we've got 0 0.98 so it's just under one volt so we going I'm sure there must be somewhere a broken capacitor or any liquid damage but we're going to inspect it now the board really looks very very clean and it doesn't look anywhere any sort of damage so yes, sir. gonna plug that in anyway <coughs> all seems clean so far so good there is a little yeah okay there is a little bit of corrosion I'm just gonna inspect it for more further I'm going to clean it and let's see what's the outcome of that with IPA first I can put in ultrasonic but um, really I don't see any point putting in ultrasonic for this sort of liquid damage um, but let's see I might have to make this I might have to remove it and put it back because it doesn't seem to go away the IPA I'm not rubbing it really hard so I don't want to damage the tracks at the bottom this looks a bit stubborn so it doesn't really Are getting cleared with all this so might have to remove it as the ramp port is very close to it so we have to be really careful we really don't want to damage that I'm going to place it away so that when I do the hot air the flow is away from the RAM slot so now we're going to remove this away So that's the damage area. I'm going to remove that.
Going to keep it away from the ram port. Keep in mind, ram ports are very sensitive. Wadu. So this is what has come out from the bottom. One of the tracks, actually two of them completely are corroded away. So I'm gonna just uh, clean them. I just simply scrape away all the whatever this gunk or whatever it is and uh, make it clean do, I do not use straight away a soldering on iron or on it so because um, that won't that won't work on it so you have to clean it make the surface clean and then use the iron we straight away will make it nice and shiny contact so it is done now I'm sure the I see I've removed is also fine but I'm going to clean the points under it as well so I'm going to reuse that I'm just gonna quickly clean that guys okay so clean that now I'm gonna put that back uh, you might have noticed just went on its own and uh, that's fine Yeah, looks all right now. So we're gonna let it and inspect it actually first. And cool it down. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we're gonna give it power. Okay, we've got the green light, we've got the fan spin. So everything is good. We're going to fit that into a machine and check for the display. And I'm hopeful that it works. Thank you very much. Thank you.